Hello everybody, this is Luckless Lovelocks back with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So we found another piece of the cat school gear. Not the actual gear itself, but the, um, not the recipe, but the, uh, whatchamacallit. You know what I'm talking about. So we just found it in that hole over there and we discovered that, um, one of the excavators of this site, I guess, found himself here after he teleported. Um, and that's actually probably what this um, hand means. Something we can interact with. Maybe we can order that, uh, open that portal later if we go in here. Um, so basically, he died of uh, died of thirst, which is quite sad. Um, I kind of want to get to level 17, so I, I'm actually going to complete this quest, and I'm curious about uh, the storyline of. Uh, of the uh, sorceress, its name I can't remember because I have a horrible memory for names. But I will find out when I select the eye for an eye. Yep, most wanted. Priscilla or Philippa, Philippa. So let's let's go ahead and complete this quest. It's gonna be fun. So we got that um, got that item. Key to Philippa Aleheart's hideout. So um, why are we after Philippa? It's because she was uh, in the first game. She was for a second game, I should say. Uh, she was responsible for the murder of uh, a couple of um, monarchs in these lands, and uh, so King Radovid is looking to avenge them. So let's... how do I use this thing? I have to equip it. sense. Ah, there it is. Missing one tile. And so that opened the portal. Or the, not the portal, but the, um, unlock the door. To fill up his hideout. I was trying to get a comfortable sitting position. My lower back's been taking a bit of a beating with all the gaming I've been doing. Perfect hideout for an owl. Yeah. It'd be a bit harder for me to move around. Um, I just haven't been sitting with the right correct posture, so I'm trying to fix that. So yeah, and she apparently turned into an owl to get away from Radovid before. Radovid actually apparently plucked her eyes out. Quite gruesome. So yeah, this is ideal for an owl. She can fly around. Um, whereas we have to walk. Portals. Great. And the witch hunters probably messed with them. Works. Who would have thunk? Love to see uh, 
I don't really want to go in there yet. Let's just see what's over here. Probably a dead end. Literally a dead end. Like, <laughs> like a fall to your death end. And there's a corpse here. One of the witch hunters. So yeah, the witch hunters clearly tried to get after um, Philippa. And um, died to her many traps, I believe. Eight portals make my stomach turn. Um, something I one of my potions or something requires maybe like necker hide. So this could be good. Monster bone. Um, in terms of the potion or the um, oil I should be using, I think these are considered draconids. No, whatever the um, necrophages are. No, it's Start from the beginning. No. Insectoids. Ogroids. Do I even have the ogroid oil? Probably not. These guys don't seem too tough to take out though. Could use this uh Humans and non humans. Oh, these are. Eh. They're definitely non human. <laughs> but uh, are they. Will that actually work? I don't know if I use this. I think I have to use the silver sword for them. Okay, these guys aren't very tough. As long as I keep myself shielded, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Killing these guys. Make her heart. Damn, inactive. Maybe I can start it up. Yeah, see, there's that hand again. So that means portal. Hmm. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Telekinetic blast, maybe? Should work now. Activate the portal. Nice. Stay back. Not one step closer. Achieve that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you're that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I'll wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big's set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. <laughs> I'll guide you out of here. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Mm, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear, and Fringilla Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. I think Philip is still here. Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but in nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. All right, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. 
Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? Alright, man. Just listen to me. Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. There you go. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> nice run into him for good measure. Letter to Final Fighters. Dear Philippa, as I write this, I am sipping your favorite cocktail on the terrace of my father's Matina estate and wondering, what the devil are you thinking? I understand if you'd simply grown bored with me, but accept it if it had turned out that the pair we made was not to your liking. We had found yourself a younger, prettier model. For the love of the bleeding gods, Dykstra? What? With all due respect, pot-bellied swine? Over me? I do not know if you have been testing new concoctions that have addled your mind, or perhaps this is another one of your games. Yet even if, if you must seek intimacy with that primitive for political reasons, do not see why this should mean the end of our relationship. After all, I would not be the first time we would hide our love. Hmm. Thanks, Dre. Huh. Interesting. Extra. Could have been dumped some woman for Dijkstra. Okay. A remix. It's Edge Afraid. This is an owl feather. I'll just wait here. They'll come for me. Sure they will. Felt the uh, my controller shake. Witcher sense is tingling. Right, now to activate it. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. God. Wonder where it leads. But I died. her laboratory and she's still here but she let these neckers just take over I doubt it right oh I got another tingling but uh, let's check out this passageway first I wonder if I would have spotted that had I not fallen in. Excuse me. This is another witch hunter. Power cell. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I needed that to uh, to carry on. So I would have had to have come down here.
You know me, I like to keep my health up. You never know when you're going to encounter a really tough fight. There's a portal over there, so that's what I meant to do. This isn't Dark Souls. Oh, okay, I can win horse races to get better gear for the horse. Of other portals. That, actually, that might be the one I just came from. things for the sake of destroying things. Not any better than what I had. Yeah, right. This level is lower level, so... I mean, things that I pick up should be worse, right? Okay. I see burnt bodies. Gotta look out for a trap here. Should probably... the shield on. It's like yeah. elemental. Let's uh, change the oil. I had a sentry, of course. Yep. Works out well. 
you don't have to attack it. Oh, I take fire damage from close by. Stagger enemies in this game. Greater Daz spoke a runestone. Cool. Shar Golem's heart elemental essence. Nice. Take a look at that uh, runestone. Um, runestone place a uh, chance to cause burning. Ooh. That burning sounds pretty good. Okay, so... Got uh, some kind of cell here. Bed, table. Few chairs. Modest, but a home nonetheless. Oh, looks destroyed though. Rolls of the North. It's inferred, so that's probably describing different towns. Here's Silver Art Soldier. Bloodstained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. Ha! Ah. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. Sorceresses and their experiments. Okay. A megascope. Scorched, covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. So it's... it's I don't know, maybe the element... A megascope. Element scorched, covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Maybe the elemental attacked her? Maybe it's not supposed to be a guardian? A megascope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got Scorched, you. covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Uh, something over here. Crystal from a megascope. Okay. Heavily chipped. Dress don't know what to do with this. Ah. So I found some books. Uh, I don't really want to read all this stuff. This is uh, 
Ah, whatever. Care for your sword, soldier. Soldier can wear a dirty jerkin, rank cloths, and stained greaves. A soldier can walk around unshaven, can stink to high heaven. Or even have the manage. Even have the mage. <laughs> mage. The manage. But his sword must always shine as if straight from the forge. For in a battle, neat clothing and an eye pleasing appearance will not save anyone's life, but a sword will. As long as it's well cared for. The man at the dull end knows what he's doing. So how should you care for your blade? Simple. After every battle, wipe all the blood and guts off of it. Take an oil-soaked linen rag and give it a good rub down. If you're fighting in a swamplands or in heavy rain, it's worth your while to coat the blade in beeswax. You should sharpen its edges regularly using a good wet stone. It's important to take your time in doing this. Each movement should be steady and delicate. Like you're stroking a virgin on your first night together. If your sword develops rust, it means you're slovenly and lazy lo and, l and a lazy oaf. Take some sand in your hand at once and scour the blade till the stains disappear. Take heed, though, not to cut your finger in the doing. But then you won't be any good to anyone. Uh, Oxenford. Oxenford, a gem snuggling into the bosom of the Pontar to the east of Novigrad. A cradle erected upon Redanian soil, nurturing the greatest minds not only of that kingdom, but of all the north. To walk its hollowed academy's halls is to embark on a journey through a learning from the, through learning from the finest points of philosophy, the grandest strokes of art, with stops made to admire architecture and dissect medicine along the way. Appear to either side, and you will spy fellow travelers in your pilgrimage of learning. The students they throng Oxenford streets, lending it an, in, an indelible imprint of youth that can be felt the moment you pass through its gates. Dormitories stand cheek by jowl, booksellers hawk, use tomes on every corner. Under every tree, uh, fresh faces debate poetry with passion. Yet youth is not all slate and compass, and the young here shirk none of its other typical pastimes. Raucous and merry are the city streets, both by day and even more so by night. Though the city councils, councillors have forbidden the sale of alcohol after dusk, no one seems eager to enforce this with stricture, and wisely so. For any loss of sleep is more than made up for by the gains profits to fatten its innkeeper's pockets, and the late night crooning of troubadours to enrich its soul. As for its architecture, a peculiar note are the recently renovated elven aqueducts used to clean the city sewers. They stand as witness to the city's innovative spirit. You will not find their like in all the civilized world, yet dominating the town's architectural visage, visage like a glistening crown is the complex of buildings that uh, compromise, comprises the Oxford Academy. A few today remember that these edifices, constructed by the Owls, predate the city itself. It is the institution that named the city, and not vice versa. Today, Oxford Academy enjoys a reputation matched only by the Imperial Academy in Nilfgaard. Of greatest renown, the departments of alchemy, natural history, minstrelsy, and poetry, medicine and herbology, engineering, and last but not, certainly not least, philosophy. I like reading. that sound? I think I have to go through this portal over here, right? I hear something. Did I miss? Did I miss a spell? I went down this way. Oops. The power. It's a str oh, okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. There's a little hole in the wall here. Wonder if that's a glitch. Huh, I'm sure. Okay.
now we're back to... This is the beginning, I think. Yep. You should have gone after him! Straight into some month. You're alive! Find anything? Friend, I serve the king. Everything that concerns him's my concern as well. Hand it over, whatever you found. We'll see the king gets it. Ha! I get out and forgetting yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! Really? Quick. Oh, man! you want to mess with me guys? Like, I have a Witcher, you know that, right? Always remember, kids, do your trash talking after the fight ends. <laughs> oh. oh, those are worth a lot. I'm assuming they're even more valuable for the, um, Opponents, though. talk to Triss. That's the other thing about these, uh, what, this is probably a longer quest, so the initial part is easy and then it gets more difficult as you go through. to the Memorial Derby. Ah, what's this? Is that a horse race? That'd be fun. Take heed, one and all, citizens of the free city of Novograd and foreigners alike. The venerable Vegabold family has the honor of inviting you to the annual great Erasmus Vegabold Memorial Derby. 
We welcome both spectators and contestants wishing to take part in the races. As it is every year, the derby will be held in the grounds of the Vegelbuds residence. Seek out the master of the races with any and all questions. That's cool. Let's see what the... Um, I kind of want to do it anyways. Regardless of the level. Once again, I'm trying to get to 17. Before I get all of the uh, cat uh, Witcher School uh, armor and weapons. So this might be a way of doing that. Ba -da -da. Cabaret. At last I was free and never had the nectar of liberty tasted so sweet. No matter how I slurped, I could not buy a bit fast enough. Filled every waking hour and quite a few sleeping ones with with uh, fervored activity. There was so much to do and so little time in which to do it. Since the Witcher had proven a true and reliable friend time and time again, I asked him for help. He really agreed to provide it. Uh, maybe I should do that too. I can never get back to the main quest in this game. There's always so many cool things to do. Um, so right, once again, this is all written from the perspective of Dandelion, so when he says, at last I was free, that's Dandelion speaking. Race. The Vigobuds family's out of town estate was famed not only for its lovely guardians, uh, gardens, I guess? <laughs> Uh, and sumptuous banquets, but also for the series of horse races organized there in honor of one of the lion's illustrious ancestors, Erasmus. Geralt, who had spent a great many years in the saddle, decided to test his mettle in this derby, lured perhaps by the size of a reward promised the victor. Let's go do that. Sounds like fun. Eh, let's complete this quest first. I always get distracted by <laughs> different things in this game. It's just, there's so many cool things to do. Okay, we're not far from there. Also, I want to see Triss again. No bread. You know me and redheads. So you play this reminds me that I need to continue this game. Hey D-Tram, what's up? Welcome aboard the love train, D-Train. Yeah, you do need to finish it, man. It's the right sword. Right. I don't even know. I don't even know, man. Why these guys bother trying to kill me? Considering I killed Horson. They shouldn't even be a gang anymore, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, uh, D Train, I uh I started this game when I first when it first came out and I took a bit of a break. Um, because the International came up, so I was playing a lot of Dota, and then the Dark Souls competition came up. So just other games and events kind of came up, stopped me from playing. bodies up here? Okay. Uh, so since I kind of didn't want to play Dark Souls tonight, because this game's just a bit more uh, relaxing, <laughs> um, and I really had a hankering to get back into it. No, I don't want to tell Radovid. What? I want to talk to Triss, not Radovid. Why would I want to talk to some crusty old king? 
instead of the lovely red-headed Triss. Actually, right of it's not old. He's crusty. They've actually made a lot of changes to the game too since I started it. Um, they changed the responsiveness of the character to your controls, so you turn a lot better. Uh, I noticed it right away after playing Dark Souls and going to this game. Like when you turn under the old control scheme, you do these like wide arcs. Damn it! Is there a way to parry in this game also? I've forgotten dodge. I think if you dodge at the right time, it's like a parry. Oh yeah? Last time you're gonna be grabbing that crotch, I think. A good four to six hours into it as it came out, and then I never went back to it. I get distracted by the multiplayer games very easily. Yeah, me too, man. Oh, I put in way more time. I put in a good like 45, or a good probably 40 hours into it, judging by my YouTube videos. So I'm I'm quite a bit along in this game. Yes. Here you are. Got Tris. Tris. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. So I have to go up. Wow, this house is, uh... <laughs> Very much on a slant. It can be freaking dizzy. Much further than I am, that's for sure. So many games to play, it's a little time. Yeah, actually, that's why I start. One of the reasons why I started streaming was because I found I was starting a lot of games and not finishing them, and I felt like if I'm streaming them, I'm actually going to complete the games as opposed to just starting them and never finishing them. And Girl, it's I've got a problem. Can we talk? Worked out pretty well so far. Ah. Yes, Geralt? Feel alright? Hmm. So so. Why do you ask? Been wondering. How's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Oh, Triss. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Just a bit of a tease. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds fishy. What are you afraid of, exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... 
Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridium? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Kay. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Trace. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Oh, Think come on, Geralt. Be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Okay, another quest. What's the level on this one? Twelve. Okay, whatever. Yes, Geralt? Spoke with Radovid. Offered me a contract. To find Philippa. The bastard. Wasn't enough that he poked her eyes out? Probably wants to torture her some more. You turned him down, of course. No. Geralt, you know what he did to her. Relax. See, I figured if I agreed, I could look for her without his men getting in my way. Fact is, I'm curious to know what happened to her. So? Learn anything? Even better. Found this. A Megasco crystal. Hmm, it's damaged, but it could still work. And Francesca is equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leaves Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Ballista. The word is, Triss is also carousing about the city. You still insist? Phil, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefort did it. I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's madness. You will need its power. You'll put yourself in great danger. Oh, uh, so we didn't see the That's whole it. thing. That's all I could recover. Get that right? Philippa says she wants to restore her vision. Seems she was planning to grow tissue on precious stones. <laughs> I like to just repeat Makes exactly sense. what they said. Found agates covered in blood in her hideout. If she pulled it off, she'd only be the second person in the world to do so. But the bit about the lodge, that's what I found interesting. Meaning what exactly? The names they mentioned. All the most powerful sorceresses. Former members of the Lodge. They clearly mean to revive it. That good or bad? Depends for who. Philip has always said that if magic perishes, so shall this world. And the Lodge was to protect the mages and their interests. Radovid and the Emperor, on the other hand, would not be pleased. Both would have to respect our opinions, and neither likes to share power. I wonder if we can, um, like, put misinformation in the crystal and give it to Radovid. Our opinions? You join them? Really? No. I've got other plans. 
So, what will you do with the crystal? Haven't decided. Ed Radovid would be very interested in it. You're not gonna give it to him, are you? Probably better if you keep it. Much better. It'll be safe with me. I'll try to cast a diagnostic spell. Maybe learn something more. Good luck. I just yes, wanted a thing. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Oh, interesting. So it's a person. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. Ooh. I'm glad I don't have the eye tracking software, by the way, when I play this game. <laughs> In Alan Dwan Ar Ice. No! Carl, no! I, I can explain everything! <coughs> Coral? Danger zone. I never looked at the less. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A uh, delusion. Where, where, where am I? The D zone? The danger zone? <laughs> you don't want us to all see you staring at animated boobs? Maybe. I got nothing to hide, man. So Coral enchanted him. Just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, succubus. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... 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 As youthful goats. Exactly. <laughs> Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Speaking of fortune. Yeah. Take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. What did we get? 45 experience. Some money. And a glyph. Why would he have a glyph? Okay. 